Hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar on Discover the Business of Tomorrow with an MBA from the Hochschule in Pforzheim. And uh, with us today we have a representative, Julia Anza, who is um, in the MBA International Management um, Division of the University and we'll talk to you about the International MBA. And my name is Hani Geist, I'm the DAD representative in the San Francisco office and I will be your host for today. You see our email addresses, so feel free to get in touch with us uh, later on if you have any questions about um, the MBA uh, that you can pursue at the Hochschule Pforzheim or DAD scholarships that I will talk to you about in a little bit. But before uh, we go into uh, today's topic about um, scholarships that we offer uh, to pursue an MBA and details about the MBA and also so about the Hochschule Pforzheim and the um, university in general, I would like to um, get a few questions out of the way. So um, I am recording the webinar, so you will be able to view the webinar later on. And um, I will also upload the presentation um, later on to our website and I will send a follow-up link where you can view the recording and also download the presentation. And when you go to the um, panel here, uh, you can see that there is a handout. And so if you click on the plus, there is actually the handout that um, Julia prepared for you and you can already download it right now. But I will also include that later on in the download a material that I will put on our website. So uh, no worries if you don't get a chance to download it at the moment, you can always do that later on. And um, you are all muted, um, but you can get in touch with us via the uh, question function. And I would actually encourage you to do use that um, as we speak uh, so that I can collect the questions. And then at the very end, uh, there will be a Q&A where um, you get all your questions answered. And with that, I would like to jump into the DAD, um, the brief DAD part of the presentation. Um, if you haven't heard of DAD, it stands for Deutsche Akademische Austauschdienst or in English, German Academic Exchange Service. And we are the German National Agency for International Academic Corporation and Exchange. And we are an independent association of German universities. What that means is that we um, represent higher education uh, abroad in general. So if you have general questions about studying in Germany, about um, application requirements in general, you can always get in touch with us. Um, but if you specifically have questions about the university, and in this case, the Hochschule Pforzheim, um, please get in touch with the university directly and you have the contact information um, at the beginning of the slide. And I'm sure that Julia also has her contact information um, on her slides as well. And so what does DAD provide? Um, we, um, as I said um, earlier, uh, we provide general information on studying in Germany. So um, you are uh, welcome to get in touch with us if you uh, need some counseling, if you generally want some information about studying and also research in Germany. But more importantly, we do offer scholarships and grants to academics at all stages and all disciplines. And um, uh, so here we have an overview of actually what we offer and, and what you would get in general. So we um, offer um, funding for study abroad, but also for internships, for senior thesis research, um, later on for research if you potentially are looking at an academic career. So really um, DAD offers funding on the undergraduate, graduate, PAD, PhD, and even uh, researcher level. Um, what um, is um, very important for our grants is that you actually don't need to know German um, or at least not fluently, um, only if it is required um, for the program that you want to pursue. So if the program doesn't require German, then you don't need to know German for our scholarships and grants. However, it is always, of course, advantages um, if you do speak some German um, in most big cities and on international campuses. Um, you definitely won't need any German. There will be a support system um, available and there will be a lot of international students and young um, students in, in Germany, they all do know um, English. But if you want to maybe venture out a little bit, if you want to go to smaller towns in Germany, if you at some point need to talk to maybe some German 
um, offices. Some um, you may actually need um, some German, but I'm sure um, Julian um, also will touch a little bit on that. Um, what a support system is at the Hochschule Pforzheim, more specifically. Uh, what we offer is either a monthly stipend if it's for a longer um, stay in Germany, or a lump sum for a short stay. Um, and you will get uh, health insurance as well and some travel reimbursement for uh, some of the grants. And now I would like to um, speak about one um, scholarship in particular, and that's the study scholarship for graduates. You may apply as a senior in your undergraduate um, if you do want to uh, continue with your graduate um, career right away and if you don't want a gap year or maybe even longer. Um, but you can um, take uh, more time after graduation, up to six years, you will be eligible to apply for the sc study scholarship. This is for all fields and of course um, for, for this particular um, webinar, um, this is for an MBA, so you can uh, definitely use that for uh, this uh, degree program and um, you will receive uh, 750 euros a month. You get health insurance and a travel stipend and 750 euros is about $800, maybe $850 depending on the exchange rate and um, maybe Julia will also uh, touch on that later again. Um, but just for you to get a sense, um, most of the cities in the U.S. and living expenses are higher, and so Germany still, when you when you look at living expenses for students, uh, most of them don't um, need more than 800 to uh, 1,000 euros a month, and some even uh, even less if you if you don't have to spend a lot on your living arrangements. For example, if you take shared um, housing instead of uh, your your own apartment. So um, the deadline is November 4th, uh, which is in two days, so if you are interested in applying, you do still have time. Uh, the deadline is for the online portal. Um, the application needs to also be sent to the New York office, uh, which has to be postmarked November 4th. Uh, usually um, we recommend uh, students to take more time than that, but if you really want to apply for the grant, um, you're still able to do so, otherwise, as I mentioned, at the very beginning. You can apply to the grant um, next year again or the year after that. And for this grant, this is actually for the full two years um, if you want to pursue master's. So if you also, um, if you don't receive the grant or for example you miss the deadline, you can apply um, for your second year while you are already in Germany. Now, um, with that, um, I would like to um, hand over the microphone. So, if you, um, before I continue, uh, the website here, dad.org, grad study, is where you find more information for the study scholarship uh, for graduates. But this is also our website where you uh, will um, get more information on other um, funding opportunities and also more information on studying in Germany and doing research in Germany. And now I would actually like to hand over the microphone to Julia. All right, thank you, Hani. Okay, so I think you should be able to see my screen. Yes, we can see that. You can see my screen, all right, just a second. Okay, so good evening everybody. My name is Julia. I'm the MBA uh, program coordinator uh, for the MBA International Management here at Pforzheim University. And today I would like to um, explain a bit more about our MBA and what is special about it. So uh, let me start with the question, why would you study an MBA? Um, so you might want to study an MBA if you feel like you want to tackle a new challenge. Um, you might have worked before um, on a professional job and then you feel like uh, you have a slowdown in your learning curve or you might be unable to move ahead in your current company or your current uh, position and you would like to broaden your professional horizon or, or even manage, uh, deepen your management skills. So then that's the perfect uh, opportunity for you to uh, go back to school and um, to study an MBA. So let me um, just shortly 
talk about uh, some facts about our MBA here in Pforzheim. Um, it is a full-time MBA which is internationally uh, recognized. Uh, we have a AACSB accreditation. Um, only about 10 German universities or business schools have that accreditation. And um, our program is a four semester program for non-business graduates, uh, which starts each year in October. And then we do have a fast track program for business uh, graduates, which starts each year in February or March. The program is entirely taught in English, and um, our admission requirements are professional experience of at least two years, and most of our students actually do have some professional experience of about five to six years. Um, I suppose most, most of you have done your undergraduate studies in English, so you would not need to turn in any um, English certification tests. But what we do require is a GMAT. Uh, the tuition fees for our program are 3,000 euros per semester, but that includes um, the student ID card, which can be used as a public transportation ticket, and that also includes the different field trips that we do over se the semester. Okay, so what might be interesting for you is uh, where Pforzheim is actually located. So here on the map you can see that uh, Pforzheim is located in the state of Baden-Württemberg, which is in the southwest of Germany, um, quite close to the border of France. So it's about a one-hour drive to France and a two-hour drive to Switzerland. And um, you can reach any other uh, country here in Europe within a one-hour flight. Um, so we're located uh, right in the middle of Europe, in the heart of Europe. So now let's have a look at our curriculum. Um, we are a MBA that combines a general management education, which includes different elements such as uh, business strategy and um, other courses um, with a specialization in leadership knowledge and uh, different skills that are important for the 21st century, uh, such as uh, sustainable management, and um, sustainable globalization. And here we do have an overview um, of our curriculum, and I might go deeper into that, but let's have a look at the next slide, as you might be able to see it much better on here. So the first semester, as I've mentioned before, is for non-business graduates, and um, starts in October each year, so it would start out with uh, foundations in different um, courses or different fields such as accounting and finance, um, different business functions such as marketing, uh, HR management, uh, foundations in economics and business law. And um, during second semester, business graduates will join the course so usually about 14 to 15 students start out in the first semester and then they will be joined by another five to six students during second semester. And um, you will have innovation and business dynamics as well as uh, sustainable globalization and many other courses during the second semester. And all semesters do include uh, different courses on soft skills such as uh, presentation skills, negotiation skills, academic writing, cross-cultural communication, and so on. Now, during your third semester, you will have the chance to actually choose your individual concentration. Uh, so that means you can choose different electives um, in the fields of marketing, accounting, um, human resource, and so on. So it, depend it really depends on um, what really interests you and into what topic you would like to dive in, into deeper. Um, also during third semester, you will have the chance to study abroad at one of our partner universities. And during the fourth semester, which is going to be your last semester during uh, our MBA here in Pforzheim, uh, you will be writing your thesis, and you will also have the chance to do an internship at the same time, or you may uh, apply at a company for a thesis project, which means that the company is giving you a certain topic um, 
and you will be working with them on your thesis. Also, what is important to mention is that during all these four th semesters, you will have the chance to um, take German classes. So that is a great chance for our international students uh, to get to know the language much better. And also, they will have a, a higher chance of getting hired in a German company afterwards. All right, so what is super important um, in our program is that we do cooperate a lot with companies. So that means that we do company visits on a regular basis that include uh, planned tours, different presentations uh, by company representatives, um, different HR um, personnel and managers from these companies. And on, on the left side, you will see a picture of our students in front of Puma, uh, which is close to Pforzheim, about a two-hour drive from uh, Pforzheim. Also, we do invite uh, companies into classroom, so that means that um, throughout the semester you will meet with different uh, representatives of different companies, such as Daimler, for example. Um, within the classroom, they will come to university, they will hold presentations, and afterwards you will have the chance to uh, personally talk to them, get in touch with them, ask about different positions or vacancies. Then during your third semester, you will have the chance to participate in a company project, which means that uh, we do offer different company projects. Um, this year, for example, we do have two projects with Bosch, another one with Heidelberger Truck, another one uh, with Huma, which are um, big companies here in Germany. And we will put you into small groups of four to five students, and then you will have the chance to actually work on that project together with that company. Um, you will regularly go to their site um, for different meetings with the company, and also you will be supervised by one of our professors. We also do offer cross-cultural experience. So um, our MBA exists for over 20 years, and during these 20 years, we've had MBA students from 49 different nationalities. Um, also, you will have the chance to study abroad, as I've said before, during third semester. Um, there is also the, the opportunity to pursue a double degree uh, with the University of Wyoming or with ISTE, which is in Lisboa in Portugal. At the moment, we actually do have two double degree students from Wyoming and two double degree, uh, double degree students from Portugal. And they will be staying with us uh, during third and fourth uh, semester. What we also offer is different guest lectures by professors uh, from different countries. So on the right side, you will see uh, Dr. Tracy Maylett from the BYU, who did a leadership course with our students last semester. So what he did is that he stayed with us for two weeks and he was giving classes um, over the period of these two weeks. And this year we will have uh, guest uh, professors from the U.S., uh, from South Africa, and from other countries as well. So then once per year we do have International Week. So that is a joint event uh, between our MBA students here in Portsheim and the MBA students from University of Wyoming. And that event actually took place last week. So what we did is uh, that we met in Pforzheim first, and our students worked on a joint project with their counterparts from Wyoming um, here in Pforzheim for the first two days. And then for the uh, last three days of the week, we went to Switzerland to visit different companies. For example, we went to see SAP, which is uh, Europe's biggest software producer, and we went uh, to see SBB, which is Switzerland's rail, uh, railway company. And we had the chance to uh, spend that week together. All right, so uh, now let's have a look at our students. So over the past five years, uh, we had 18 different nationalities um, on our MBA, and 92% of them were international students. And the average class size is 20, and the average age at entry is uh, 30. That's over the past five years, but at the moment, I think the average entry is 
27. And we do have 50% uh, female students and 50% male students. On average, uh, these students hold five years of work experience. Uh, some of them do have only two years of work experience, but some others do have 10 years already, so it really depends. And um, almost half of them come from an engineering background, and then they decide on doing the MBA in international management because they wish to change industries, for example. And um, about our career outlook, uh, many of our students wish to work in Germany after the MBA, uh, but some also do go back to their home countries. And almost 60% of our students receive a contract before they even graduate. So that is mostly due to the internships that they do during third semester and also the um, company contacts that we provide uh, throughout the four semesters. The average income right after the MBA is around 55,000 euros per year. And that amount doubles after about five to ten years. So these figures are from our um, alumni survey that we've conducted um, from all alumni over the past 20 years. All right, so here you do have an overview um, of selected companies at which our graduates that graduated during the years 2011 to 2015 at the moment work. So you can see there are uh, companies such as BASF, um, Bosch, Daimler, we have Ernst & Young, um, we have Puma, we have F SAP, so it's very diverse and um, most of our students work for um, global companies. So what are your additional benefits when studying or doing an MBA here in Pforzheim? Uh, first of all, one of our uh, benefits is that the class size is quite small. So we do have a class size of maximum 25 students. At the moment, we do have even less than 25 students. And that really gives you the chance to have an intense learning uh, experience. Also, we do have our German classes. They are integrated in the curriculum, and uh, the costs are covered by the semester fees as well. Then we do have experienced professors, as our professors have worked uh, in different industries for at least five years, and uh, most of them have worked in senior management positions. So they really know what they talk about. Then we do have the accreditation. Um, so less than 5% of business schools worldwide actually do have that AACSB accreditation. And I think that is one of the, 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 the major benefits that we offer here in Pforzheim as well. Um, so then what we also do is that we bring experts uh, to our campus that help our students to probably uh, to properly prepare their uh, CVs uh, to properly uh, prepare for different job interviews that they might have in the future. So you will not be left alone, but you will also um, receive support on that. We also do have an alumni network, and we do invite our alumni um, twice per year. We do invite them to the university. Um, they, it's usually on a Friday evening. Um, that they come to Pforzheim and they speak about their past experiences, they speak about their MBA experiences and how they manage to get a job and how it is like to be working in, in their position at the moment. And that's also a great chance for our students to actually get in contact with these alumni and um, to find a job later after the MBA. All right, so I'm already at the end of the presentation. But we do have some time left for you to ask questions. Um, also, you will be able to download the handout. It includes a bit um, more information. Also, um, different testimonials of our uh, students are included, and some more information on how to apply for our MBA. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. I will uh, switch over to my uh, presentation. I don't have any information, but I have a big um, box uh, with uh, questions on it. So it's um, up to you now to um, ask some questions. This is the time uh, where you can um, ask any questions about the program, about the university, um, anything um, that uh, you may want to know. Um, but it's, it's maybe the process about applying um, anything else that wasn't mentioned. Um, are there any questions uh, from the audience? Um, we don't have any questions at the moment, so I will just go ahead and maybe um, I will ask questions. Do you um, do you know what some of your students did after um, they finished with their MBA? Do you know if a lot of them maybe stay in Germany, um, especially if a big part of the MBA is an internship where students successfully um, able to find um, a career um, other um, afterwards? Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually most of our students um, do decide to stay in Germany. Most of them are planning to stay in Germany for at least two years just um, to receive more uh, work experience and some of them have started their own business afterwards and they went back to their home countries. But um, for the moment most of them are staying in Germany. And so for the um, for the jobs afterwards, um, are those jobs where German is required, for example? Because for the MBA, students don't don't need to know German since the, the program itself is in English. Um, but is that something that students will then have to be prepared or um, will they also find uh, positions um, where they only have to speak um, English and maybe a little bit of German? Okay, that's a good question. So actually we do have um, one student that graduated in 2014 and she's uh, Canadian and she now works for Puma and she does not need any German during her um, workplace or on her work workplace because um, they do speak English there but it's true that most companies still require German and that is also why our university offers German classes um, on a regular basis, so on a weekly basis, our students will receive German class. And I think that's very important if you really want to um, start a career in Germany that you also know how to speak German. Mm -hmm. it's, and not even, I mean, not only for the working environment, but also if you um, want to do some small talk with your colleagues and so on. Yeah. So I think it's a good, yeah. It's and to better understand the German culture, it's, exactly. just, uh, it's nice if you if you speak a little bit of German. So um, basically, students, um, if they um, do an MBA, if they pursue an MBA program at the Hochschule, they are able to, as part of that, learn German um, to then um, potentially, after the two years, also uh, take positions where um, German is required and, and not only English. Is that correct? That definitely depends on the student, mm -hmm. um, but if they wish to, um, or if they really put some work into learning German, then definitely that's possible. We do have one student from India um, that stayed in Germany, and he's actually doing the test for becoming a German um, citizen at the mm -hmm. moment. Okay, great. So for him it worked out quite well. Mm -hmm. Great. So um, is there... Um, the the would you elaborate again on on the um kind of student support for the international students also in terms of um the available housing and and other mm -hmm. kinds of um, opportunities that are available like in comparison to to the U.S. um colleges um can you elaborate a little bit um on mm -hmm. that sure sure um okay well first of all before we um to have that student on our MBA program, we will have that Skype interview, uh -huh. and during that Skype interview, um, the students can already ask any questions that they might have about Germany, um, and so on, and also we will send around lots of information on housing. We do have several dormitories here in Pforzheim, and most of our students do live at a dormitory that is quite close to the university. It's a five-minute walk from here and it costs around 200 euros per month. I think that's quite affordable yeah, and most of our yeah. MBAs, yes, most of our MBA students actually receive a, um, a room at that 
at that dormitory. Yeah, that's very. That's definitely very affordable, and that's um, very convenient too. If it's only five minutes away from the university, yes, that's definitely. great. And but so I mean, even if if some students do not live as close to the university, that's not a problem because we do have public transportation yeah. in Port time, and also um, the ticket for public transportation mm -hmm. is included in the student ID, so you would not have to pay any. You would not have to um, have any extra costs mm -hmm. for public. Speaking of costs, I know this is a question that I that I often get from international students from the U.S. or from students from the U.S. who are interested in studying in Germany. Um, are there any um, funding opportunities that are available through the university to cover some of the, um, the the tuition fees, for example, or the living expenses? Is there anything available um, for that, or would the student really? Um, have to have savings or maybe a work on the side if, if that's possible. Okay. Um, well, usually our program is a self-funded program, as most of our students have worked before, or actually all of our students have worked before, um, so they were able to already um, receive some savings. But also, we do offer the scholarship called Deutschland Stipendium, mm -hmm. and um, students that come here they may um, apply for that um, scholarship, but of course it's not a guarantee that you will receive that scholarship in the end. Mm -hmm. How much is that? For How much do students get, do you know? I think it's 300 euros per month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that would even um, cover the uh, dormitory and, and some food um, when it comes Definitely to the Definitely parts living. of the, the living yeah. cost, yes. Yeah. But then most of our students also do have side jobs. Um, they work, for example, at the university or they work at different companies here in the area, mm -hmm. uh, maybe once or twice a week, and that's how they usually afford living, uh, living costs. And also they work during the semester holidays, so there are semester holidays for about six weeks, and during these six weeks they usually have some full-time uh, holiday jobs, which also helps them to afford themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, are there any questions from the audience? I don't see any question right now. Is there anything maybe, um, Julia, that you um, didn't include in your presentation that you um, wanted to uh, mention now since we have some time? Not at the moment, but what I can say is that we will al uh, always be happy to answer any questions and also you um, may check us out on Facebook as we regularly post um, different events and um, we've just recently posted some pictures of our International Experience Week that we had last week, so just feel free to um, have a look at that. Could you maybe um, um, elaborate a little bit on um, how competitive it is um, to actually get into the program? I know that's always a question that students have mm -hmm. coming from the U.S. is uh, when they apply, um, what are their chances of, of getting in? And is there anything that um, that is more important than um, when, when it comes to the application material? Mm -hmm. um. Well, mostly important um, for getting accepted to our program is the GMAT. We do require that from international students. And um, once the applicant has all the, or has fulfilled all the requirements, we will conduct an interview. That's a Skype interview that lasts for about 20 minutes. Um, and afterwards, um, the, um, how is it called? The committee is deciding on um, admission, uh, but at the moment, um, at, on the current batch, we do have uh, two students from the U.S., and on the third semester batch, we do have another two students from the U.S., so I think chances are quite good for, um, for students from the U.S. to be accepted to the program. Are there any minimum um, points uh, from the GMAT? Uh, that are required, or is that uh, just a formality? The minimum is usually 550. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, if there are no questions, then we will um, 
finish the webinar early today, um, but you do have um, the um, contact information for myself, uh, for the DAD office in San Francisco, and also for the Hochschule Pforzheim if you are interested in applying. Um, I would encourage you to go to their website, to go to their social media, to um, gather even more information, and of course you will be able to get in touch um, with the um, uh, through the the website as well um, I have one question um, I don't understand the question though would you please elaborate application start date one I don't really know what that means would you please um, type in again your question maybe rephrase the question it's about the application deadline but I'm not quite certain what the actual question is. So maybe you can rephrase that so I can um, ask the question. Maybe I could start explaining about um, application deadlines. Yeah. We do have application deadlines for international students and that depends on the starting date. So if you wish to start in March, then the application deadline would be December 15th. Mm -hmm. Um, but you may also turn in your GMAT later. So if you do not have taken the GMAT before December 15th, uh, that's not a problem, but we would need all the other documents until December 15th. Mm -hmm. And if you wish to apply for October, for the October intake, then application deadline would be June 15th. Mm -hmm. So I, I received the question again a little bit um, rephrased. So the question is when the application period is going to start. So is there actually a like a first day where you um, accept applications or um, do you accept them um, basically throughout and then there is a deadline for March and then a deadline mm -hmm. um, in, in December or for, yeah. for, the, for the winter and mm -hmm. for the summer semester? We do accept applications all year. So if you decide, I mean, you could even send in your application today if you wish to apply for October next year. Mm -hmm. We appreciate early applications. And then I have two follow-up questions for that. So the first one would be, do um, students actually receive notification sooner then, or do you wait um, for all applications to get in, and then only after the deadline students can expect an answer? No, students will already receive an answer, uh, usually two to three weeks after the interview. Okay, great. And then uh, my last question would be, if students, if something comes up, um, would students who um, got accepted into a degree program, could they defer? So would it be possible for them to, um, instead of um, maybe starting in 2017, start in 2018, is that possible with your program or do they, would they have to apply again? Um, if they wanted to start at a later point? Um, for us, for planning reasons, it's always better if we know the exact starting date mm -hmm. because otherwise the student would be taking a place for another student yeah. that might want to start earlier. Okay, so if a student won't be able to start the program as as um, as he or she was was um, applied to for the program, uh, the, the student will have to apply again um, then um, go through the, the application process again if the um, will not be able Not necessarily. I mean, we've had uh, the case that uh, some students applied for the uh, March intake, for example, but then they couldn't get a visa on time, so then they started in October. Um, so it is possible, but for us it would definitely uh, be better to know uh, when okay. the student would like to start exactly. Okay, that's great. So there is a little bit of flexibility there, but, there is, there is. but students need to communicate with you. Well, great. Um, perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time, uh, Julia. I really appreciate you, you well. joining us this evening or this morning for us here, especially on the West Coast. Um, so you will uh, receive a follow-up email with the link to the recording and also the PDF uh, for the presentation. And um, if you haven't done so yet, you 
you can download the handout uh, right now, but it will also be available later on on our website, especially for those who will uh, view the recording later. Thank you very much, Julia. It was a pleasure of having you today on the show. Um, and uh, please stay tuned um, for the attendees for any upcoming webinars. There won't be any other webinars in this fall, but we will definitely have more webinars, uh, DAD webinars on studying and doing research in Germany in 2017 in the spring. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today, and right, I hope to hear you, you soon. Bye.